In a world where nothing seems normal anymore, one thing is constant. Asian families. So you call him Papa? In this unique series, we enter the lives of four middle class families. In these changing times. You want Hannah? If you don't like me, you get out of the house. Relationships are not that straightforward. <laughs> and traditional roles are reversed. <laughs> if he's not my husband, I don't think I will hire him. The truthful exploration of family life. Jangan biarin ini cewek lain yang buat misalnya mama semua papa. A new season of the family affair. Indonesian Winda Ritonga celebrated her 41st birthday with her nearest and dearest, her four children and husband Arnes. But the happy occasion was marred by disputes over money. Winda wants to take a bank loan to renovate the house. Arnez prefers to be more prudent and save up for the renovation. The Ritongas own Winds Tour, a boutique travel agency. Founded seven years ago, Winds Tour was doing well. Until recently. In the last two months, business has been poor. On paper, Arnes is the company director. But in reality, Winda calls the shots. Sensing Arnez's frustration at how she's managing the business, Winda tries to lighten the mood. The couple have always kept separate bank accounts. Neither knows how much the other has.
Winder isn't just struggling to manage the company's finances. She also isn't very prudent with her own money. Cara dandannya Winda buat saya itu menunjukkan karakter dia yang pede luar biasa. Ling, mami cantik gak? Jawab dong, Ling. Cantik gak? Ah, gak mau, ah. Ah, terlalu heboh, kadang. Oh, Angelina Jolie. Jadi gini loh. Ini satu-satu, kamu lihat aja, ini bukan pakai mesin. Ini namanya handmade, pake tangan. Itu milir. Murah, Pi. Gila, gila, dua juta murah itu. Nih, Kak, ini tuh buat kalau ketemu orang penting. Kalau dia tidak mengendalikan uh, belanjanya dia. Cuman dia seperti orang hilang sadar. Kalau udah megang uang, udah ngelihat barang bagus, beli, 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 gitu. Akhirnya jadi. Ya ini kan hati dipakainya sekali setahun. Kalau pas undangan gala dinner yang datangnya misalkan ada wali kota, apa ada gubernur. Ya enggak tentu juga dia bisa lihat mama, siapa tahu dia matanya kicer-kicer gak lihat mama, hmm. cuma. <laughs> These are the shopping halls that Arnes knows about. But there's plenty more he's unaware of. Banyak. Tas. Tas di paling benci. Dia nggak tahu tuh tas, nggak tahu. Aku bohongin dia. Bohongin dia. Bilang dikasih temen. Aku buang-buangin bonnya. Pasti marah lah dia. Dia pasti marah, pasti ya, pasti ngamuk dia.我在这个家庭里边，我是这个主要的经济经济支柱吧。其实我工作就是自己办理一家公司，嗯，然后主要是从事这个园林景观的这个建造。嗯，现在我们做的这个项目是咱们北京这块有一个造林的任务，因为现
，因为在家待的时间特别的长了，好几年，两个孩子都上学了，然后，哎呀，真的就是想出去透口气的这种感觉。主要是美国的网好，我特喜欢美国。对，啊，老板鸡也挺好的。哎呀，我最想去的就是冰岛。巴黎了，克罗地亚。喜欢克罗地亚。我也挺喜欢克罗地亚。是老的。Now a dual-income family, the Lees go for a yearly family holiday. 李林波 receives an unexpected call from the bank. 然后当时我们在国外的时候，在国外有消费是吧？然后那个那里边有的钱好像没还，没还没还清是吗？我们已经那时候从国外回来了，啊，以为是又还清了。然后你没想到你说还有分期，就发完了就，就是早就应该你说这些事都是，哎，喂，是老给我打电话，哎。你首先第一点，你别再给他打电话了。我现在就是决定要一笔一笔的把这账给算清楚了。他喜欢旅游，这次我们信用卡这个这件事呢，实际上就是去美国旅行的这个产生的费用，那就是疯狂的玩儿。我欠，我不想欠。问题就出在这儿。其实吧，我老公他就是当老板当惯了。举个最简单的例子。哎呀，这这这家里面太乱了啊，那个啊，太乱了。嗯，这意思言外之意就是，你该干活了。嗯，我我跟谁说呢？这一年的花费，我估计旅行上面可能就要花到三四十万。Over in Indonesia, Winda is celebrating. She managed to clinch a new client for her tour agency. Using the deposit given by the client, she shopped and shopped until a quarter of the advance payment was spent. The total damage: 10 million rupiah. For 750 US dollars. Assalamualaikum. Dari mana sih? Mall situ. Aku beli gelang, papi. Buat apa itu? Buat apa? Gelang buat dipakai lah, masa buat apa ansi? Kau bisa dipercaya atau megang uang? Ia ada yang kamu. Kalau nggak, tapi di sini mana? Tapi nggak ada. Anas is furious. That Winda has spent the money the company desperately needs. Ambil tu, 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 balikin lagi. Ini buat apa kayak gini ni? Buat apaan ini? Ni, buat apa ini? Ah! Karena aku selalu dibikin dia itu tadinya ya, Arnesa selalu bikin aku rendah diri. Karena sebenarnya sesungguhnya laki-laki rata-rata maunya istrinya tu orang yang nurut, ya kan? Nah kalau aku kan nggak bisa sama dia digituin. Kita tarik urat dulu, dia mau apa? Harus tarik urat dulu. Amaku dia kayak gitu sekarang. Mungkin itu kali yang buat dia sebel sama aku. Kamu mau pergi? Kamu mau pergi? Kamu mau pergi? Kamu mau pergi? Ini bego sama kamu. Jangan ngikutin orang-orang bodoh. Sok-sok sosialita BPJS. Apa sosialita BPJS? Dih, gila dasar emang.
In China, a long overdue credit card bill is a source of marital tension. Like Arnez, Lilin Bo is frustrated with his wife's frivolous spending habits. Without 我成全你不是关键您的信用卡太多一共就两张跟我急什么呀要把我吃了因为这话我都说过无数次了然后每次我说完你的话重新问一遍每次说完的你那就是有点太多了太乱就两你说加上清了了我们所以说有时候我就避
It, it was after a couple of weeks, I was home where she just texted me that watch this particular channel which was showing about food trucks. Everything in my life, every single moment revolves around this truck, this brand. And the fact that people associate with it, a lot of people come to us today and say, oh, you guys are the first ones, you guys started it all and look what you've created today. Newlyweds Vikrant and Lavanika Misra are pioneers. They started Ekjakli, the first food truck in India's Gurgaon city. Anu, Acha, abhi, uh, trials kya -kya trial kya hoga, Acha? Okay, so you start your own ready to start. Do you want to do trials in half an hour? With more competition, Lavanika and Vikrant want to expand Egg Jakli's menu. Mm. Nice. What exactly is this? This is a grilled chicken breast stuffed with cheese and vegetables served with a side of grilled vegetables. And it's topped with mushrooms. Your chicken sauce. is bad. The sauce is utter crap. The I chicken didn't is find bad. the chicken dry. Huh? I thought it was just fine. The chicken, this is nonsensical dry. It's just two of us. Either I'll tell him what's right or what's wrong, or he'll tell me what's right or what's wrong. I don't even know why, why I would want to serve this as a truck. Why not? The cost will be so high. Considering we're such different people, it really matters what the other person thinks. But the sauce needs to be improved. We can make it more saucy and... Uh, flavorful. Okay, flavorful. More flavorful. Yeah, so sauce, you, you tell yeah. the kitchen team to improve this, and then maybe I can get this on the menu. But it's, it's, it's been a learning experience. Because with these fights, we learned that, okay, how can we get better food? How can we get the same food on a daily basis, the same quality to be given to the customers? That was more important to us. The newlyweds soon find out that work differences are easier to resolve compared to domestic issues. Business partners Vikrant and Lavanika tied the knot two weeks ago. But they soon realized that being bedfellows is a lot harder than being colleagues. Vicky, can we just sleep? So you sleep, I'll just have to work out a couple of things. Can you remove all of this which is taking up all my space on the bed? There is nothing at your part of the bed. This is my part of the bed. You mean all of this is your part of the bed? This part of the bed is mine. So, do I how, space? how much space do you need to sleep? How, how are these affecting you anyways? It's not a conscious decision that I have to sleep with my iPad or my phone or whatever. But there are too many things on the bed. I don't have any place to sleep. Oh, the Grant loves his gadgets more than his, his love for his wife, I'm telling you. Half the times the remote is under my pillow, sometimes the phone is coming under my pillow, sometimes there's the iPad lying on the side. I just have to wake up because I'm too scared that it'll fall off the bed. If he would replace me with anything, it'll be a gadget. It'll be somewhere but how, occupying how some that, little space. But how does that, that hamper your sleep? You sleep peacefully and if you have so much problem, I think there is a room right next door to us. I think you can go and sleep over there. This is you too can much. be at peace. I'll just sleep. She'll adjust. She'll she'll get used to the, the gadgets after a while. I'm sleeping right here, right now. And please clear up the bed. You you clear up your side though. Good bed. night, the ground. Fine. What Vikrant failed to realize is that if his wife doesn't get enough sleep, there are consequences the morning after. So every day I wake up and uh, make a cup of tea for Vikrant and if it's his lucky day, then he gets a couple of cookies along with it. I have to be in a good mood for him to get cookies. If I'm not in a good mood, if I've been cranky, if he hasn't let me sleep enough, he doesn't get them. Hello. 
Hello, good morning. Good morning. Now this one's yours. Where was the difference? Shoka. Mine is more, mine is less. Yours is less, mine is more. Thank you so much. No cookies today? Because you watch TV all night and I didn't get to sleep and I'm very cranky. So eat cookies and you'll be better? The entire gadget story, uh, I, th I think something needs to be taken care about that so that I can get my morning cookies. Over in Indonesia, Winda is visiting her mother-in-law, Madam Sri Astuti. The 70-year-old family matriarch wants to warn Winda about something she's noticed. She is worried that her son Arnez, Winda's husband, is becoming unusually close to another woman. <laughs> Thirty-six-year-old Titin Kustini is the woman Madam Shri is referring to. She works as an assistant manager at Windows Company. They've been friends for three years. Nine, baru asisten lu yang benar. Kalau kayak gini lu nggak capek. Dia pinter segala dia bisa. Bagus kayak gini. Lu senang pi bagus nih asisten gue yang sekarang. Iya. Last year, Titin's husband passed away. She was distraught and penniless. Winda took her in. It's been a year since she started living with the Ritonga family. Pada saat saya lagi ada masalah, di situ Bu Winda masuk, ya saya dipanggil untuk kerja di sini, nggak lebih dari dikasih pekerjaan, tapi sudah dianggap keluarganya. Saya bersyukur Alhamdulillah. Kalau dengan keluarga Bu Winda, memang tidak ada uh, skat ataupun batas. Bahkan anak-anak sudah menganggap saya uh, bundanya lah. Terutama yang kecil kan udah nganggap bunda. Terus kalau yang gede udah nganggap tante. Gitu. Bahkan sama Pak Arnes sendiri sudah tidak ada batas. Udah panggilannya juga udah panggilan keluarga lah. Bahkan sampai ngambil rapot pun. Nih bintang, kalau pacaran sekolah nggak bener. Ntar kalau nggak naik apa nggak lulus tuh malu-maluin. Punya pacar nggak naik kelas, lu peteran. Mau? Aku pintar. Pinter apa? Rapat kebakaran kemarin. Enggak, bagus ya bang ya. Bagus, empat semua. Enggak, bagus ya. Serius ya Tante? Iya ya Tante yang kesana ya bang ya? Ya bohong. Bagus, benar cuma ceknya dua kan? Ya. Kalau ibu di rumah, saya yang mengerjakan kantor. Kalau ibu yang keluar, kerjain kantor, saya yang di rumah. Jadi saling mengisi ya sampai kesana. Fights about money has caused a strain on Li Lin Bo and Liu Man's marriage. But after the huge blow up, the couple resolved to sort out their debts together. Yeah,一年的这种旅行费用就要花几十万，可能有点吃不消。说实话，毕竟现在这个经济这么不景气，这挣钱很很不容易。嗯，咱们还是量力而行。就是这个一万九千多，是咱们银行让咱们还的这个
After a huge blow up over travel budgets, the Li family from China is spending this year's holidays in China. They will be visiting their extended family. Then Oh,那时候流漫非常漂亮,嗯,特别漂亮。那你说你怎么那么大胆子呢? 我求求你了 in Indonesia, the Ratongas are also visiting their extended family. In front of his siblings, Arnes gets an earful from his mother, Madam Sri. <laughs> Madam Sri warns her son not to get too close to a female friend. Persoalan adanya Mbak Titin itu dibicarakan kemarin itu saya sebenarnya cukup kaget. Cewek gimana di luar Cuma di luar doang, di dalam tetap hati mah di rumah ya. Takutnya ke seleo, gangguan tiap hari. Ada nggak benar? Enggak, karena karena risiko risiko tinggi banget ya. Jangan sampai silap dengerin, jangan sampai silap denger. Mau saya merasa di situ sebagai duduk di kursi pesakitan dalam sidang pengadilan gitulah. Kalian bersekongkol ya gitu kan? Kan yang ngambil dia bukan gua. Yang ngambil dia. Bukan gua loh yang interogasi lo gitu. Sebenarnya senang juga sih ada yang mewakili. Sebenarnya sih kalau aku yang nanya kan dia nggak bakalan mau ngomong. Aku percaya seratus persen sama papi. Tapi percaya itu juga harus dilihat rambu-rambunya. Pokoknya apa yang papi omongin aku percaya. Alhamdulillah berarti percaya. Dia bilang enggak, gua nggak ada papa ya. In India, moving in together is proving to be a challenge for newlyweds Vikrant and Lavanika. The bathroom in their new home is in need of urgent repair. Vikrant, can you call the plumber at least now? There's entire seepage in the bathroom. What issue? There's no issue related to the plumbing. Every day I've been reminding Vikrant that this work needs to be completed and every day he puts it off for another day or he says, that uh, it'll be done tomorrow. Idrana? Yes? Why haven't you done it? Did you do it? You didn't tell me. So no, don't, no, no, don't no, 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 you volunteered. Yeah, you have the number, you get it fixed. What is this? Uh, Why I, I, are you always just pushing responsibility? Why can't you be responsible? <laughs> Hello? Take, no, it, don't take, laugh. take some responsibility. I'm very responsible. I make food for you, you every day. You don't make responsibility. I make take. food for you every day. No, 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 no. But speak to the plumber right now. You should really ask me what do you want for breakfast? Nothing. You just gave me fruit. We don't tend to get into a fight very easily until unless it's a very big issue. It isn't a big issue. 
until it comes to choosing the furniture for their new home. I'm, I'm still thinking we should get something colourful done for him. But then the you wallpapers want... are already adding a lot of colour and the bed is white, so I think we should put a white he, study he table needs some vibrancy around him. I think there'll be too many colours otherwise. And I would still say let's go for a colour. You can't be so rude, yeah, Vikrant. I mean, this is just getting too much. I'm not happy about the look of this room. Who puts white wallpaper and then grey blinds? I mean, come on, yeah. It's looking so dull. There's no life in this room. There's no vibrancy. I didn't want to. Oh, you can't. You can't have colourful rooms. You Why can't not? have colourful living rooms. Why room. not? When the house came up, that's the first time we started pulling out money from the company because that was the only money we had. There is no other source of income for us. So there is a lot of pressure to use that money wisely. Why not? Yeah, what is wrong? It's just Your so parents will have dinner at the bar. And then there are more decisions about the dining room. Yeah, they can sit on the we, I do not want a dining table. The bar can ser serve as a buffet table. Uh, wh what about your grandparents? Everybody will sit on the couch. Your five-year-old will have dinner and lunch and breakfast on the bar. In small houses where there's no place, that's how it is. This is not, this is not small at all. I can have the dining table absolutely fine. I do not want a dining table. This is it. I mean, I do not want to go beyond this on this discussion. How can you leave out from a no, discussion? No, yeah. No. Every time I, was, do not, I do not Anything want... that you do is you leave out from the discussion. How no, can you leave no, I do discussion not want like this? It. That's it. See the so we finally got a call that the furniture is uh, coming in today and uh, so we got really, really excited. I am pretty excited that, you know, Lavanika wanted the white, I wanted the grey and, you know, finally I got what I wanted in Drago's room. So yeah, pretty thrilled about it. I'm actually quite happy with the way it looks. It's just turned the look of the room around. It's looking very nice. Okay, are you ready for the surprise? Yes. Yes? Say, shout, yes, I'm ready for the surprise. Yes! Nah, I knew it. You knew? What do you mean you knew it? How can you know a surprise? Book wrap. Covers. What covers? Oh, it will fall down. No, not no, fall down. We'll do something down. so we'll, that it won't fall We'll down. get bookends and we'll put that and then they won't fall out. And then you have drawers over here, see? Yeah, there's drawers over here. That was one thing he was really, really waiting for, especially the study table because we told him that Soon he's going to get a laptop on it. One of the drawers is going to have a lock which he can keep his personal stuff in. So he's getting that feeling of uh, growing up and he's really excited about it. And you can study over here. And from tomorrow daily you have to study now. Okay? Three hours studying. Love you. Chalo ja, have your food. After weeks of fighting over the furnishing, Vikrant makes it up to Lavanika. Oh, I have a surprise for you. What? This. Oh, wow. And oh my God, this is looking so awesome. No, I told you that we should get a pink. And this is what is going to add all the brightness. Initially, there was a disagreement on this also because the sofa that we're getting is grey and he did not want something very bright. But yes, I'm very, very happy that we got my pink chair. My pink chair is going to add all the colour yeah. in one dull looking drawing room. And what about the blue? That's okay. Take it. But I think the pink chair rocks. It's my throne. Bay. It's your throne. Bay. Okay. Mm. Done. Sounds looks nice, yeah. In front of her relatives. Winda says she trusts her husband, Arnez. She believes him when he says he isn't seeing anyone else. Aku, jadi karena aku pikir kayak gitu, jadi aku fine fine aja gitu. Jadi akhirnya aku mikir apa cuma kecurigaan aku doang gitu ya. Ever since Madam Shri warned Winda that Arnez could be having an affair. She has been checking Arnez's phone secretly. Tadi aja ada yang sedikit janggal, yang dia nanya udah makan apa belum. Kan manggilnya juga papi. Uh, aku tuh nemuin uh, percakapan yang agak-agak aneh lah gitu kayak. Uh, aku nggak ngerti bahasanya. Sepertinya apa itu? Sandi kode gitu. 
aneh ya uh, kata-katanya tuh kayak iya barang antik mah harus duduk manis gitu kan terus siapa yang barang antik ya itu ya Winda and Anes are headed to Garut, five hours from Jakarta. While this is a work trip, it's also a chance for the couple to talk things out. Kita kayaknya lebih bahagia kalau di tengah-tengah orang banyak, bukan di tengah-tengah kita berdua. Ya dulu kita orang yang istilahnya nggak cocok lah kalau orang-orang bilang tuh pasangan yang sangat tidak cocok karena semuanya bertolak belakang bikin uh, suasana panas kita hindarin karena aku pikir udah saatnya. mau ngomong sesuatu sama kamu jawab jujur aku nggak bakal marah kamu tuh orang paling susah ngomong cinta enggak kita 17 tahun aja aku punya anak lima kamu nggak pernah Maksudnya bilang cinta sama aku enggak negatif aku tanya kamu masih sayang nggak sama aku atau kamu eh, aku tanya ah, apa pakai aja otak lo pernah sayang nggak sama aku pakai aja otak lo ah nggak pernah sayang nggak sama aku pernah sayang nggak Pakai aja otak lo, Nek. Enggak. Gak usah gue jawab yang kayak gitu, mah. Itu, mah. Lucu. Aku gak tahu tuh hati kamu tuh ada di mana. Nah, sekarang begitu datang Mbak Titin, aku lihat nih kamu tuh semangat. Kamu tuh lebih, lebih cheerful, lebih berkilau. Aku ngerasa kamu sayang sama dia. Itu feeling aku sebagai istri kamu. Emang Seru kamu mas, tanya, kantor. ada bukti apa sih, Nek? Ya Allah. Eh, kamu tuh semuanya nggak ada bukti. Yang emang nggak ada, emang yang dulu enggak, dulu, enggak, enggak, yang dulu apa-apa. dulu ya. Ini cuma ngakuin aja, ngakuin. Kan itu kemauan kamu nih. Iya kan, nggak ada asap kalau nggak ada api. Akuin aja. Iya, kamu sayang sama dia. Titik. Ya, kalau sayang mah sayang. Nah, itu, itu aja hanya aku minta. Iya. Berarti kamu sayang sama dia. Ya terus mau gimana sih Nek? Gua ngomong bo, gua gua ngomong bener dibilang bohong. Gua ngomong bohong dibilang bener. Sama istrinya aja yang setiap hari bersama dia 17 tahun, dia bisa ngungkapin perasaan sayang dia. Tapi dengan yang baru dia kenal 10 bulan, dia udah bisa bilang dia sayang. Ya, ya memang saya memang bilang sayang sama Titin. Tapi sayangnya itu Istri saya salah tangkap. Sayang sama dia, sama Mbak Titin itu karena keterampilan dia, karena kerajinan dia menolong membantu istri saya dalam melakukan pekerjaan. Sayang, tapi sayang sebagai uh, karyawan dengan pimpinan. Jadi bukan sayang apa-apa. Aku izinin kok. Karena aku pengen papi bahagia. Itu refleksi dari cintanya aku sama dia. Kalau emang sampai saat ini dia nggak bisa mencintai aku, ya monggo.